hello guys how are you i hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health today i selected a topic on temporal arthritis which is called as giant cell arthritis so let us discuss what is what it is temporal arthritis or the giant cell arthritis is also called as hortons arthritis it is a form of vasculitis inflammation of the blood vessels the condition usually affects people over the age of 50 years and temporal arthritis is a form of vasculitis inflammation of the blood vessels in temporal arthritis also known as giant cell arthritis or hortons arthritis the temporal arteries the blood vessels near the temples which supply blood from the heart to the scalp are inflamed swollen and constricted narrowed the vasculitis that causes temporal arthritis can involve other blood vessels such as the posterior ciliary arteries leading to blindness or large blood vessels like the aorta and its branches which can also lead to serious health problems if not diagnosed and treated quickly temporal arthritis can cause damage to the eyesight including sudden blindness in one or both eyes and damage to the blood vessels such as an aneurysm the ballooning of the blood vessels that may burst out and other disorders include stroke or transient ischemic attacks so how common is temporal arthritis temporal arthritis is one of the most common vascular disorders but it is a relatively rare condition affecting about 5 out of 10000 people it usually occurs in people who are over 50 years old and affects women more often than men and then what are the symptoms of the temporal arthritis the most common symptoms of temporal arthritis is a throbbing continuous headache on one or both sides of the forehead Other symptoms may include fatigue, fever, jaw pain that may become worse after chewing, and tenderness at the scalp or temples. Vision problems such as double vision, blurry vision, or transient brief vision loss. If this is not treated, it could be followed by permanent irreversible vision loss. And muscle aches in the upper arms or shoulders, hips, upper thighs, lower back, and buttocks. loss of appetite or weight loss often temporal arthritis can be associated with any entity called polymyalgia rheumatica pmr which is an inflammatory condition affecting the shoulders hip girdle and neck this leads to significant stiffness and pain and pmr is a far more common than temporal arthritis but up to 30% of temporal arthritis patients have pmr then what what causes the temporal arthritis the cause of temporal arthritis are poorly understood and there is no well established trigger or risk factors one cause may be a faulty immune response such as the immune body system may attack the body and temporal arthritis often occurs in people who have polymyalgia rheumatica what is the diagnosis is of uh, temporal arthritis the patient history is very important and uh, will make the doctor consider the diagnosis the doctor will perform a physical examination and will check to see whether the patient's pulse is weak the doctor will also examine the patient's head to look for scalp tenderness or swelling of the temporal arteries the doctors will first order blood tests such as erythrocyte sedimentation rate esr and c reactive proteins to measure how much inflammation swelling there is in the body the doctor will also test for anemia by measuring the hemoglobin level the part of the red blood cell that carries oxygen if temporal arthritis is suspected the doctor may order a biopsy in which a small piece of the artery is removed and examined for evidence of inflammation within the vessels other tests that are sometimes necessary include magnetic resonance imaging mri which uses a large magnet radio waves and a computer to produce sharp pictures of the body positron emission tomography pet scan in which a very small dose of radioactive chemical is injected into the vein of the arm so that it can be followed on a pet scanner via three dimensional pictures and ultrasound which sends high frequency sound waves through body tissues the echoes are recorded and turned into photos of the inside of the body Although there is no cure for temporal arthritis the condition can be treated with medication temporal arthritis should be treated as soon as possible to prevent further damage caused by poor blood flow patient over the age of 50 who have the following symptoms should contact a doctor immediately such as new onset headache sudden and brief loss of vision jaw pain with or after chewing food or after talk the main stay of therapy for temporal arthritis is glucocorticoids such as oral prednisolone patients sometimes need to be take 
glucocorticoids for up to two years. Sometimes the longer the dosage is gradually reduced over this period, and there are serious side effects associated with long-term use of corticosteroids. Patients have to be watched carefully while taking these drugs. Side effects include a greater chance of fractures because steroids can make the bones thinner and brittle and infections because steroids suppress the immune system. Tests that measure the thickness of the bone such as bone mineral density test or DEXA scans can detect osteoporosis thinning of the bones. And doctor may recommend supplements such as calcium and vitamin D and exercises such as walking or weight bearing exercises to prevent osteoporosis. Fortunately, a new medication called tocilizumab was approved by the FDA in 2017 to treat the temporal arthritis and this medication is given as a subcutaneous injection. The patient should not smoke and alcohol should be kept to a minimum. Uh, the outlook for those with temporal arthritis is very good unless the person has had a loss of vision. If that occurs, the damage generally cannot be reversed. Most complications associated with temporal arthritis are from the use of steroid drugs, not from the disease itself. So it was all about the temporal arteritis. I hope so that you would have liked this video. If you have liked this video, then subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful, nice day. Thank you.